Hi, everybody. Welcome to the December 2nd, 2016 edition of Colorado Inside Out Post Game, a special web exclusive production here on Channel 12. I'm your host, Dominic Gazzuti. Let's get a quick take on President elect Donald Trump lining up his administration with his most recent announcement of James Mattis as proposed Secretary of Defense. We also talked about on the show where he was looking at Bob Beaupre as a potential candidate, for, a potential uh, nomination for Secretary of the Interior. Patricia Calhoun from Westward, from what we've seen so far, and some of the things have happened, say, you know, here's the person my nomination and some of it just been it could be a handful of these people from what we've seen so far what do you think well what i mostly think is you can tell how much Donald Trump loved running a Miss Universe because it has been <laughs> such a pageant of people parading through. The only thing he didn't make Mitt Romney do was wear a bikini. Oh, it is I'm incredible how you watch these people just come, pay homage, suck up. Um, so some of his appointments have been good. I think uh, Mattis is, a, although the way he announced it was kind of a Miss Universe surprise. Um, it, was a it was a good announcement. That was probably one of the best you could expect from Trump. Don't love the fact that Wall Street, the people he was saying he was going to fight, and now have an in with Treasury and everything else. But it has been just a beauty pageant, and, you and it's going to not end. I mean, he is having everyone parade past him. <laughs> David Culper of the Independence Institute and DU Law School. Um, do you think we will see any significant fights, as in people not getting confirmed in the Senate based on anybody we've seen um, um, from Donald Trump proposed for his administration? Well, I wouldn't be sad if uh, Mnuchin from Goldman Sachs were, were defeated. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of ironic that he was attacking, Trump was attacking Cruz for having a wife who had worked for Goldman Sachs, and then, then he brings in a, a Goldman Sachs person. But we'll, we'll see on that. Usually, so f of the nominees so far, I wouldn't see them being defeated yet, but things can come out. For example, uh, George W. A George H. W. Bush's Treasury Sec uh, Defense Secretary nominee, John Tower, Texas Senator, unexpectedly got defeated after some of his colleagues turned on and basically said he, he drinks too much and he's not that responsible a fellow. I think uh, the best nominee so far has been Tom Price for he uh, Health and Human Services. Representative Price really understands health care well, and in fact, when Obamacare was being jammed through Congress, he had an alternative bill. So if we're going to repeal and replace Obamacare and, and have something that works better than what Obamacare replaced, Tom Price is the guy, not only as a doctor, but as an expert in health care finance and, and everything around that who's got the expertise to, to lead on that. So that, that was a, a, an outstanding choice. For new Attorney General Jeff Sessions, I'd like to see him put aside his particular policies. I'd like to see him, rest I think he will, hopefully, restore the professionalism at the Department of Justice, which is supposed to be an especially independent and high class organization and less political than the other other cabinet agencies and we've seen that undermined sometimes by Janet Reno in the past by Bush's Alberto Gonzalez and made even worse by Eric Holder uh, and Loretta Lynch so I I hope Sessions will restore the independence and professionalism uh, of the DOJ. John Bowman from Five Points News joins us. You know, David brings up a good point I want to talk about uh, having that independence. And I realize it's a little bit different with the uh, uh, Attorney General and Department of Justice, but how many of uh, the folks that we think we're going to see in the administration will be able to act independently of Donald Trump or they're going to be? Because it's, it's not like he's <laughs> run another another second department before. Let's go there. Be none, like? none, 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 <laughs> okay. none, none, none. And as, as, as David, uh, true lawyer, uh, speaks out on the Attorney General's office, the Attorney General's office is critical in terms of civil rights in America, and they bring cases that the state will not bring, and so that's a critical post. Um, I think Donald is just stirring up the swamp, and I, I hope he doesn't stir up, well, maybe he should stir up a little quicksand and pull some of these people down. Uh, I think in terms of uh, no blacks, no browns being uh, nominated uh, so far. Only Nikki Haley out of South Carolina, the governor who took the Confederate flag down. She's she's got she's got a good chance. Um, but I, I I just hope that somehow the, Trump says no to both Ben and to Rudy. That's my hope. Nick Garcia from uh, Chocolate, Colorado, rounds up the panel. Um, when we're finished, we see the Trump administration, which might not be completely staffed until after the inauguration. How, what percentage do you think are going to be brand new faces we would never see under any Republican and other faces that 
well, almost any Republican would probably get a face like this. Oh, gosh. Um, I think, you know, what we've seen so far is a lot of traditional Republicans so far. I mean, as you know, we've talked about on the show uh, with Bob Beaupre coming up as the possible interior secretary. Uh, the education secretary, Betsy uh, DeVos, a Michigan billionaire, um, she, I don't think she would have been necessarily a first pick if the traditional uh, Republican candidate had uh, gotten the nomination and won the election. So I think we will probably see, probably uh, if I had to throw it down, 70-30. 70% uh, traditional Republicans, anyone would have picked them, 30% uh, Trump's flavor. <laughs> flavor of the week. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's being to feel like an apprentice episode, isn't it? Uh, that is all the time we have for Colorado Inside Out Post Game this week. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. For everyone here at CPT12.org, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thanks for watching.